Hello, my dear students. In this le lecture video, I will be discussing an example on the conservation of mechanical energy. Okay, let me share my slide. Yan. So, this is from University Physics by Young and Friedman. Okay. So, the problem goes like this. A block with mass uh, half a kilogram is forced against a horizontal spring of negligible mass compressing the spring a distance of 0.20 meter. When released, the block moves on a horizontal tabletop for one meter before coming to rest. The spring constant K is 100 newtons per meter. And then we are to determine the coefficient of kinetic friction, symbol is mu sub K, between the block and the tabletop. Uh, what makes this problem a bit easier for us is the illustration is that the illustration is already given unlike an, in other problems in our textbook wherein you are uh, you are the one who needs to sketch the situation uh, that's going on in the problem but in this case everything is given to us so things to consider number one the the, the system here the spring mass system here is not changing height. So it's just moving horizontally across the, the tabletop. Therefore, since there's no change in height, then there is no work by gravity. If there's no work done by gravity, then there is no change in the uh, potential energy gravitational. So we say that the work by, by gravity is zero. Therefore, we also say that that's also equivalent to the change in the uh, UG, negative change UG. So, uh, UG1, therefore, is just equal to U gravitational 2. They're both equal to 0. So, wala ito siya. Now, uh, what are involved are the following. We have the spring and it has been disturbed initially. When I say disturbed, the spring is either compressed or stretched. No, It's not in its natural length. So the moment that there is compression in our spring, the, <clears throat> the work done by the hand compressing it, okay, the external force, will be equivalent to the energy that will be stored in the spring. Okay. So well, the situation here is telling us that someone or something must be compressing it. So we can say that this is point one. And we'll say that, let's complete the, the illustration. This is where the equilibrium is, so natural length of the spring. No? So uh, from this equilibrium position to point one, then this would be our initial compression. Since the box is not attached to the spring, once the spring goes back to the natural length, the elastic potential energy that the spring has will be converted to motion, diba? such that everything here, all of the energy that's been uh, that's stored in the spring has been converted to kinetic energy. So this box here will overshoot the equilibrium position. It will be detached from the spring and continues to move. However, as it moves, the surface below here, the surface in contact uh, or the surface between the box and the floor is not that uh, smooth. Therefore, the kinetic energy now that the box has uh, when it detaches from the spring will later become or gradually become heat no? because of the rubbing of the bottom of the box and the, and the tabletop. Sooner or later, the kinetic energy, no? uh, the energy that causes it to move, will become uh, thermal energy, heat. It's lost into the environment such that when everything has been converted to heat, then when the box uh, reaches this point two, it's already not able to move because everything it has in the beginning has converted to heat. And you cannot get heat from the environment and put it back to box two. Okay. So next, things to, to take note before you establish your equation. Um, when somebody or something is compressing the spring here at point one, then uh, logic will tell you that it cannot move. No? So initially, 
when the box is at uh, point 1, it has no speed. So at this point pa lang, you already know that there's no kinetic energy initial because everything is stored in the spring, the spring mass system. The same thing is true with uh, pagdating dito sa point 2, it also has no kinetic energy so it cannot move. So V2 is 0 na. Pagdating dito sa equilibrium or at this point to here, since the spring has gone back to the equilibrium position, then you can also remind yourself that at point 2, there is no longer any compression. So X sub 2 is 0. You'd say here, no compression. This is with respect to the spring. No compression nor stretching. Okay, that's very important. So, uh, and, and one thing, the important thing here is that if the motion is going there, the velocity vector is to the right, friction opposes it. So there's kinetic friction between the box and the floor. And what is asked for us is the coefficient of kinetic friction. You have to be careful, guys. Sometimes it's the kinetic friction that is asked. So ang symbol natin for kinetic friction, small letter F na cursive, and then subscript small letter K. But if you put coefficient this time, coefficient of kinetic friction, then our symbol is Greek letter mu K. So mu K. Ito yung question for this example, for this uh, particular problem. Okay. Once you've established everything, uh, by the way, itong si 1 meter, ito yung in, in the context of uh, friction, since friction is non-conservative, the actual path taken by the, the object will affect the work done by friction. So this whole 1 meter distance where friction uh, acts on the box, kasi dito pa lang, pag alis niya, may friction na yan. Yan, until here. Okay. So, uh, itong 1 meter ngayon, we will consider this now as the total distance that is traveled by the object where friction has been acting on it. So, let's just use the generic symbol S for the, the magnitude of displacement, which is just equal to distance. So, now we're ready to establish our equation using the uh, conservation of mechanical energy. There's no work by gravity. There is, uh, so our equation, we can start with Kinetic 1 plus uh, U elastic 1 and then minus the work by friction equals kinetic final 2 plus uh, U elastic 2. Kasi the work done by a non-conservative force like friction should always be in the initial state. It's not in the final state. Okay? Now, you cancel immediately everything that is zero. So the box is not moving while being held as the spring is compressed. So this is zero. And then it also stopped after one meter, zero din ito. What else is zero? Correct. <laughs> there's no more elastic potential energy final because there's no compression and stretching already. So you are left with U elastic minus friction. So further simplifying, we'd say that the initial okay, equals work by friction. So what does this mean uh, physically? What's the physical meaning of this? This tells us that whatever initial, uh, whatever energy that is stored in the compressed spring, that will be converted to thermal energy. Yan. Okay, so that's the meaning of this uh, equation here. Now, let's continue with our solution. So, you substitute U elastic 1 into its equivalent expression, which is just 1 half, times the spring constant. By the way, the spring constant is given as 100 newtons per meter. And then you have initial compression squared equals... Work done by friction is just frictional force times the displacement. Do not put the negative here because it's been carried by the first step. Huwag nang mag-negative dyan. Okay. Now, remember, we are to determine mu sub k. And at this point in time, mu sub k has not surfaced yet. So, we have to do something with friction kasi siya naman ang directly associated dito. We have to break this into its equivalence in terms of mu k. So if you further recall, kinetic friction is just uh, 
affected by the roughness or smoothness of your surfaces in contact as measured by mu sub s and the normal force. Okay, so the normal force, if we show the free body diagram of our, of our box, so if this were the box, this is the x and this is the y, if we identify the forces now, we have uh, spring force is going in this direction because the equilibrium is nasa right, so F spring is going there. And then friction is going to the other side. There is an upward push by the floor. That's the normal force. And then the downward force because of gravity. Yeah. So since the box has no acceleration along the Y because it's not bouncing up and down, then Newton's first law is saying that the total force is just equal to zero along the Y. This is the... This is what I mentioned before that the things that you learned in Newton's laws, the dynamics of motion, can still be very helpful until the end of our uh, semester. So it's just positive normal force minus gravitational force equals zero. So the normal force is just equal to the weight, which is mg. Yeah. So in this case, kinetic friction is just equal to mu, sorry, this should be k. Mu sub k and then the normal force is mg. So we will replace kinetic friction with mu k mg. Same strategy as we did in Newton's laws. So let's continue. I have here one half k x1 squared. Kinetic friction is coefficient of kinetic friction times the mass times 9.8 and the path taken, the distance taken. So ito lang yung gusto natin. Therefore, our equation becomes k x1 squared over 2 mgs. That gives you mu k. So now you have an equation for mu k. It's just now a matter of substitution. This is 0.2 squared over 2. The mass is half a kilogram. G is just positive 9.8. And then S is just 1 meter. This gives us 0 0.408. No unit for mu sub k. Huh? It's a pure number. Equals mu sub k. And therefore, this is our final answer. So since mu k is um, not close to zero and also very far to being one, so we'd say that relatively rough, medyo a bit rough itong surface uh, ng bottom ng box at saka ng floor. Ayan. Because the mu k is uh, greater than zero but also less than one. Okay? Ayan. So this is just one of the examples that you can work on in preparation for problem set number seven. Ayan. Stay well and keep on studying, keep on persevering. God bless you all. Until the next video. Ta-ta!